Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper, and this is Euphoria by Dreadbooks. <laughs> so, before we start, I have to thank Dreadbooks for making this module available to me and therefore sponsoring this episode. Thanks so much, Dreadbooks. Um, this is, of course, the second of the chromatic series that I'm going to be featuring in my videos. The other one was the Ataxia that was bright and pink. This one is a bright yellow, almost orangey kind of color. I personally like the extra, extra color that this brings to my rack, but I know that certain other people don't really feel as much. Uh, I've, I've read comments from people that uh, j just based on the color, they won't uh, decide to buy or pick up a module um, which is, of course, I well, there's no accounting for taste, right? Let's uh, just keep it at that. Um, other than that, I would say this is, of course, an eight stage phaser. It's the first phaser that I'm featuring in my videos. Uh, so I'm going to approach it like I would do all of my other effects. Just see, like, well, how does this influence the sounds? Uh, what can you do with it? So I try to make this as extensive as possible. Uh, but if I missed something, please let me know. Uh, drop me a, drop me a line at yes but at the modular clubhouse door nl or just leave a comment below but for now i would say let's just uh dive in shall we here we go so here we have euphoria up close and personal again um so this is probably going to show the first and almost only downside of this module is that its print is white or light grayish on yellow which makes it quite hard to read at least it does to me um, other than that what do we have here we've got your your inputs so you've got one input for your euro rack gear and you've got one low voltage input so you can theoretically plug in a guitar as well and then you've got two outputs one is the full wet signal that's the eight stage and you've got your mixed output there too. Uh, then at the top we've got three CV ins with the attenuators or the offsets depending on the functionality uh, there as well. So one for the feed, one for the manual phase shift. So where where you want to go. So this this is normal at the middle. The LFO rate and then of course the LFO level doesn't have a uh, a CV setting, but this is actually the out of the LFO, so you get a an extra LFO in your system as well. So if you're ever without an LFO and you still have a Euphoria, you can just go ahead and use this. Um, so other than that, I would say, well, let's uh, get this thing uh, patched up and let's see what we can do, right? So I'm going to grab the output from the owner patch that in but let's first let's listen to the owner so this is the signal we're working with let me just uh, get a bit higher frequency there a nice sore tooth there we go let's grab the wet output first And you can immediately see that this already well, distorts the signal already. But that's, of course, the whole reason for having this module. I love this. I'm just playing with the manual phase offset. Beautiful shape developments, if you ask me. But if you look at the well, the spectrum analyzer, you don't see that much happening there. Only if I do it very quickly. And that's, of course, what the LFO will be doing. And you can then, of course, also open up the feedback, which is going to increase the, the noise levels a bit. But let's uh, put all of these high up and introduce some LFO. Well, 
what I can also do is I can grab another LFO, in my case from chips, and connect that to, for instance, to the feedback. And if we then grab the mixed output, Same thing for manual, of course. And you can do the same for the LFO rate there. So if I raise that, So this is of course all done on a static waveform that's not really developing. So what I would like to do is I would like to just quickly uh, turn on my uh, my standard MIDI file that I always use for these kind of things and see if what we can do with that. So let me just repatch this real quickly. So I'm going to grab the CV from there. So we now have tune that a bit and if we then play this we might also want to use the the gate information there so I'm going to use the CM modulus as they are to create an envelope and use that as input for my VCA Quickly repatch this. And now we can start playing around with the phaser again. Euphoria. So. Grab this from an output. I'm going to grab the full wet signal first. Open up the feedback. This is of course the effect that we want to have. That's me moving the manual phase up and down. Just disconnect this LFO there. something else here. I'm going to grab the mixed output and I'm going to turn feedback down a bit. in the manual mm -hmm. 
You hear the other LFO now modulating the manual offset. You now have the LFO influencing the rate of the built-in uh, LFO. And we can of course also do is just grab this one and just use the built-in LFO. You can do crazy things with that. High distortion. One of the other nice things is I'm going to use the VCO on chips. Let's do frequency modulation. this I'm gonna get the So there you have Euphoria, the first phaser I've ever tried, so it's my favourite. <laughs> I truly love it, don't get me wrong, I truly love Euphoria and I do have to thank Gradbooks for sending this to me for reviewing. Um, let's go back to the studio and wrap this up shall we, cheers. So I hope you enjoyed this video on Euphoria by Dreadbooks, whom I still have to thank for making this well, video possible and sponsoring this episode. Um, other than that, I would say, well, everyone, please, well, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you for my next video. Cheers.